Hey y'all, today I'm gonna go over my recipe for easy southern sausage gravy. You can find it on deepfriedhoney.com. You'll need a pound of sausage. I'm using pork sausage, niece's country pork sausage to be exact. You can use turkey or chicken or some other type of meat if you like. Um, my easy turkey sausage recipe goes really well here. Just keep in mind that you'll need to add more fat to the pan because that type of meat is not gonna render as much fat as the pork will. And you need the fat to cook the flour to make the gravy. Whichever type you use, you're gonna break it up into small pieces like you would hamburger meat and cook it until it is pretty much cooked through. You want just a, a few spots of pink here and there. I like to add the flour when it's still a bit pink just to make sure that I don't dry out the sausage. Now the recipe calls for a third of a cup of flour and that's a good starting point. You may need to adjust it a bit. I like to add, I like tea. <laughs> I like to add the flour in batches. I do it about a third of the total amount of flour at the time. And after every addition, I stir it in until the flour has been absorbed. You don't wanna see any dry flour on the pan. After the last little bit of flour has been worked in, pan is kind of dry, you don't see it anymore. You can continue to cook it for about two to three minutes, stirring it so that it, that flour has time to kind of cook before you add the milk. If you add the milk too fast, your gravy might taste like flour. So for the milk, you're gonna add it just the way you did the flour in batches. Please keep, you see back there how great I am at estimating. So you're gonna add in about a cup at a time. The recipe calls for four to four and a half cups of milk. This is gonna depend heavily on how you like your gravy, how loose or thick you like the consistency at the end. I'm gonna use the entire four and a half cups. Um, but if you want it a little thicker, you'll lose just the four. Look at that, you see how great I am at estimating? I'm really pouring in just a cup at a time. But anyway, after every cup, I am stirring it in and making sure as much of that flour is absorbing as much of that milk and thickening up before I add more to the pan. I basically wanna make sure that it's like very large gaps of frying pan that I can see when I'm stirring. That lets me know that everything has you know, come together and thickened, so. She's going to keep adding the milk until it's all gone. Like I said, if you think you might want a thicker consistency, then you're going to want to hold off on that last half a cup. And also keep in mind that gravy thickens as it sits. So if you're not serving it immediately, you guys gonna make, you're going to see all this at the end. I can stop talking about it. After all the milk has been incorporated into the gravy, it should look about like this. Don't worry, it won't be that watery when we're done. Um, I'm adding in some seasoned salt. You may not want to add salt. Your sausage might be plenty salty on its own. That's totally up to you. Um, but I'm adding seasoned salt, about a quarter of a teaspoon, as well as some fresh black pepper. And then I'm going to let this gravy simmer over medium heat for about seven to 10 minutes or so. When I'm happy with how much it's reduced, you can tell by the level on the edges of the pan there that it's gone down. Um, I'm gonna add in the remaining black pepper and then you're done, it's time to serve it. Serve it as fast as you can. I served it maybe five or 10 minutes after I made it. You can see how it has already thickened up. But yeah, that's it. Recipe is on the site. Thank you for spending almost five minutes of your day with me. Have a good one.